Hey, and welcome to the po Let's Play Pokemon Y Part 10. Uh, last time we went through the Glitter and Cave and mucked some Team Flare members up uh, and grabbed a fossil. Now we're about to take it to this guy here and uh, get it revived. So he's going in the back, about to turn into a Pokemon for us. I didn't know it was that easy. Uh, Jurassic Park made it seem a lot harder than that. So some... Uh, oh, Amara. Sorry, uh, and actually, I'm not going to nickname that one. So, just so we can see, it's going to be a uh, ice and uh, ice rock type. So, I'm not quite sure uh, what I want my last Pokemon to be. I already put, I put Kangaskhan back. I put Drifloon back. I just put that fossil Pokemon back. I'm not quite sure what I want my six slot Pokemon to be, so I'm just going to leave that open for now. And uh, here we are in the aquarium. Apparently we got to get through here to get to the next town. So, wasting no time. Let's get it out. Let's get, let's, or get, let's get it on. Or not. Alright, let's go. So, running through the beach. Too bad I don't have like any uh, rods or anything. Oh, shoot. Got a berry tree growing on the beach. Mago berry, I had no idea what that does. So let's keep moving. Anything over here? Looks like there will be. Oh, we're back in the town. Okay, alright, awesome. I guess I must have overlooked that part. And was it worth it? Yeah, well, yeah, I guess. Just sell it later. Alright, you know what? Why am I running when I could be gliding? Just straight gliding through the sand. This would never work in real life. So, oh, hey, uh, what's up? Oh, it's a dousing machine for you. With this, I can find items I can't see with no trouble at all. Here, I have one for you. Alright, uh, sweet, awesome. I never really used the dousing machine in past games or the item, item finder when it was that. So, uh, I guess we're just gonna ignore that. And, uh, fight this trainer! So, alright, Swimmer Genevieve. Sending out a Wingle for us. And this is probably the best possible Pokemon we could have had our new Pokemon go up against. Since the Thundershock to the face is gonna be pretty freaking effective. Also, I'm loving Tesla's ability. Uh, water that's not affected by water, and water actually heals him or her. So, yeah, let's get it. And okay, all right. So, that Psyduck's doing the same damage to us, what we're doing it to it. And we're, okay, that's fine. It's um, quite a few levels higher than us. So actually, do I think I can make it? Yeah, I'm going to take it. I'm gambling. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, and it's not going to work out in my favor. Oh, it did? Okay, awesome. Tesla's first battle on the team. Growing to level 18. Getting his stats up. Yeah, Tesla's gonna be a boss. I can already tell. I can already tell. Let's go! So this dude fishing over here, trying to catch some Magikarp. Or whatever water Pokemon or water equivalent to that. Oh, Tentacool. Tentacool, Magikarp. They're both extremely annoying. And I just misclicked. I mean, I guess it's not too bad. But, okay, yeah. That's gonna be annoying. I don't know what's worse. Spikes or toxic spikes? Sp spikes give you damage on contact. 
Oh, hey, thanks for the extra HP. Yeah, no, that, that, that ability is definitely awesome. I'm going to have to remember that for later. When I am in a bind. Stores Tesla. Basically waste their turn. So, yeah. And Bucky's growing levels in the back. Just mooching off Tesla's work. I think he's doing. And, uh, I am actually shocked at how little this Thundershock is doing. I mean, Stab and Super Effective, it should be doing some more. But that's okay, whatever. It's doing the best it can. Shoot, double layer to Toxic Spikes. Not quite sure what that does. I know like triple layer is like basically like toxic. Single layer is just like regular poison. Not quite sure what double layer is. Hopefully we won't have to find out. Because hopefully Tesla's going to whoop this deuce. But there it goes. Two down, one to go. And it's of course another tentacle. So I can't even like throw out Bucky. Because then it's just like a regular. Because Vine Whip will just do... um normal damage on this dude and up there's the constrict see constrict's not doing anything why don't you use bubble beam again that was a uh, that seemed to be pretty effective I mean I'd, I wouldn't mind but no he seems to he doesn't seem to like that idea it's either gonna be poison or toxic spikes or poison spikes or constrict but that's okay we don't need it. We don't need it. We just took this dude to town. Doesn't matter that he was fishing while we were battling him. Doesn't matter that he was distracted. Doesn't matter how you lose. All that matters is that he lost. Yeah, we've got another fisherman, fisherman in the battle. So, let me know. Should I, um... Oh, Shelter. I actually kind of want a Shelter on my team. If I, had, if I could... I totally grab one. And shoulders over there delaying the nev Neville. Look at him. Look at him. Like freaking scaredy cat hiding in his shell. Nope. And icicle spear. Nope, that doesn't heal us. Oh crap. Okay. All right. That's that's it. That's it, right? And no. Tesla took a hit. Tesla goes down. I'm sorry. I failed you. Throw out Bucky, finish the job. Hit it with that vine whip. And oh my gosh, Shelter. Shelter just doesn't want to go out yet. He just wants to. Shelter, it's much easier if you just let it happen. I'm sorry, none of us want to go down. Or faint. My goodness, I gotta think of some better uh, word choices. And Star U's about to go down too, except it's faster than Bucky, so it's going to use Swift real fast, but now it's going to get taken out. Yeah! Just falls over in defeat. Has, doesn't, he doesn't even know what to do. Fisherman Shad. You mean Chad? Or is it really Shad? Alright. Who's over here running? Just a little swimmer. I'm getting tired of wearing my bather suit, bathing suit, or swimsuit. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, there's nothing. To keep, or, okay, I know it. No, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. So let's. Oh crap! I do not. Uh, freaking ability. All right, let's switch it out. And see, I don't even know. See, it's a tricky matchup because I could throw out Nala to tackle its bug type, our bug side, but then it'll hit me with the um, water side. I could throw out Bucky to hit it with the uh, hit its water side, but then it'll hit me with its bug side. So, best bet, well, I thought the best bet was just going to be to use Mustard Seed, hit it with the Fairy Wind, but that's not looking too well. Okay, so I apologize for that. I actually, I accidentally, I, or I actually ran out of memory. 
or accidentally shut it off. Shut it, uh, so didn't miss much. Just hit a had a few more fairy winds in there. Beat the masquerade. Ran a few more steps, and now we're in the next city, which is um Kalage City, I believe it's called. So yeah. Preview. That's what happened last time on Let's Play Pokemon Y. So now, uh, I guess we'll just start going a few houses first. I mean, we could just run in and face the gym leader, but why? Uh, massage. Oh, uh, yeah, no thanks. I'm, I'm good for now. This looks like there's a massage house there. Bicycle shop here. Alright, All right, let's check it out. Let's see what they got. Oh, 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 welcome, welcome. Come right this way. Uh, okay, all right, thank you. Uh, what time do you have, young man? Did you know that you are our 10,000th and first customer since we opened the shop? You are lucky number 10,001. Oh, awesome. Does that mean... Oh, if we were number 10,000, we could have gotten a bicycle for free, but instead, we can get a bicycle by answering the quiz correctly. All right, cool. Shoot, let's, let's go. Uh, do bicycles come in more than one color? Um, I'm thinking so. I mean, I'm looking over to the left, and I'm seeing a couple colors over there, so yeah. Yeah, they do. Bing, 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 you are correct! Oh, I'm, I'm glad they gave us a question that we could have uh, figured out by looking around the shop. And, uh, yeah, green's my second favorite color behind blue, so blue wasn't an option, so let's hit up the green bike. So, Alright, that was cool. And clothing shop. I'm gonna avoid that for now. And what's in there? No idea. Why not? Let's just let's let's check it out. Okay, hotel. Oh shoot. Alright, they're giving us uh moves. So alright, so we got rest. Now we got sleep talk. What are you gonna give us? Are you gonna give us anything? He's not gonna give us anything. Stingy. And <coughs> excuse me. And she's not gonna give us anything either. <laughs> so you know what? I'm actually kind of curious, so I'm going to grab that fossil Pokemon back. Alright, now we got the fossil Pokemon just to see what it can do. I don't know if it's going to stay on my team, and I'm actually going to apologize because I am not decisive at all when it comes to who's on my team right now. Alright, hey, what's up, dude? Oh, dear, if you're here for the bicycle race, I'm afraid you're too late. Well, good thing I'm not, uh... Here for that. Took first place and uh gonna give us strength for a constellation prize. Awesome, thanks dude. You're a swell guy. So however, if you want to use the move outside of battle, you'll need a batch from the gym. I run the city. <laughs> oh, so he's the uh, gym leader, huh? Well, alright, let's go uh let's go muck him up, dude. Except let's go grab this item first. Awesome, I don't use those. Sure you guys know that by now. Probably don't have to say it every time I come across one. Next item or a guard spec or whatever the heck it is. So let's go up here. I think he went over on this around this side, so oh and here it is. So alright. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go face the new gym. Kalag City Gym. It's uh, up on a rock climbing wall. I am glad I'm not doing this in person because I don't know if I would have been able to get to him. Not only do your Pokemon have to be physically fit and uh, at their at their best, but so do the trainers. This really, really is a partnership in this uh, Pokemon world. So Dwebble. Uh, I think that's what his name is. I think, I think I just saw it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, that was last gen stuff. 
And we are actually not gonna hit it with the thunder shock. This oh shoot. Okay, never mind. Looks like that doesn't do that much. And rock blast is about to. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, all right. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Okay, yeah. Tesla's not ready at all for this gym. So we're we're gonna switch it out. Sorry, bro. This is not the gym for you. Hit us with that rock blast again. Too bad it ain't gonna do nothing against Shell Shock. Oh! All right, all right. Hitting three times. Hit it with that bubble. I really want to come across Surf or Bubble Beam at least. My goodness. And okay, are you serious? You're really not gonna give that to me? You really gonna, just gonna leave it with that sliver of HP left and give it an extra hit? Okay, all right. That dude's going down. Feel my wrath. Feel the fury of bubbles. I wonder if, uh, see, like, I, I never got why they did so much damage. Like, like, what's up with the bubbles that they hurt? But I've never been hit with a bubble. Unless you're talking about one of those, like, big plastic things that people go inside of. I've never been hit with one that actually hurt. I guess maybe because it's rock, but... Pretty sure I've hit some rocks with some bubbles before, too, and, uh... They didn't have quite the same reaction. Maybe it's different because it's coming from a Pokemon. Maybe there's, like, a special, like, chemical or something in it. Or maybe I'm just thinking about it too much. I mean, it's, it is Pokemon, so I should just, like, kind of, I mean, if I'm, if I'm okay with the fact that the Pokemon can shoot bubbles out of its face, out of its body in the first place, then why am I questioning that, um, that these bubbles can actually do damage? And so, uh, Bucky's learned Needle Arm, and, uh, or that replaced Vine Whip. So, all right. Are we going down or are we going up? I think I just came, oh, I just came up that way. All right, let's go up right or left. I like the left better. Let's go up left. So, hopping up, hopping up, hopping over. And, okay, all righty, on to the other side. We're going down a little bit, so it's not just a straightforward climb to the top. He's going to make us work for it. So, all right, let's, uh... Shoot, that was barely... Shoot, you could have climbed, uh, shoot. Oh. Well, that wasn't very... That wasn't... That didn't work out so well. So he was just... He was just stationed there. So he's sending out his rock and roller. We got the rock. We got the roll. And since the dawn of time, we only had one roll. Put that rock, rock, rock into the rock and roll. All right, Shell Shock coming out, hitting with Shell Shock's gonna be pretty reliable during this battle. I think. I think it's just gonna be pretty much a straightforward rock type type gym. And I'm sorry, since uh, the new Pokemon on the team is part ice, and I'm not gonna throw it out yet. What? That's some BS. How are you gonna avoid bubbles? Everybody touches bubbles. Like, you don't avoid bubbles. You are drawn to bubbles. Nobody can resist popping bubbles. Except Rock and Roller, I guess. A rock can move out of the way. That doesn't make sense. Okay, alright, so I guess uh, we're going back down. And, uh, going around. So, and, okay, there's another trainer. Only those with a noble spirit can try to take on the challenge of the uh, Salage City Pokemon Gym. See, I wish... My gosh, these town names. I wish I knew how to pronounce them. And I wish I would stop... I wish I would have switched Tesla out by now. So she's not first. Okay, let's give Bucky some action right now. May not be the best. Well, 
It's yes, yeah, part psychic. Psychic isn't super effective. Oh gosh, okay, that did some damage. But let's see, needle arm. Let's see how much that does. Yeah, and oh, oh shoot, and it makes him flinch. Good deal, good deal. Hit him with that again. Soul rock going down. Didn't stand a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance. Tesla's growing levels. There's new Pokemon growing levels. New Pokemon's not growing levels. They're showing up. Lunatone. So not the Lunatone. So not the Lunatone. Bucky's going in with the needle arm again. Hit it. End it. End it. End it. It's over. Stick a fork in him, Sparky. He's done. Bucky's growing to level 27. Shoot, man. He's growing levels like nobody's business. Amara grew a level. Shellshock grew a level. And Rising Star is down. I mean, that was a good Pokemon battle. Too bad that wasn't the gym. Leader. I mean, that was... And then we are on a roll. And all right, actually. All right, uh, so I just went in and uh, healed my Pokemon. Switched the team around a little bit. And uh, all right, here we go. Another uh, Pokemon uh, trainer in this. Oh, oh my gosh, the Rhyhorn. I actually get a sense about how like like the size differences and the weight differences in this game because when that Rhyhorn hit the floor, showed it on Mo. Oh no, it like it actually like made like a thud. I actually looked around me. I was like, oh shoot, what the, what the heck was that? I mean, we're on a fault line over here. We can't be joking like that. And now is growing level six. Mustard Seed is growing to level six. And Pokemon are gaining levels. That's what I like to see. I'd also like to see one of them evolve in a minute. But, I mean, we just had a couple, quite a few of them evolve, so I'm sure they're not going to get fully evolved before we're beating, before we beat the second gym. Or are they? Oh. Some mystery. I guess we'll have to stay tuned to find out. But right now, Mustard Seed is doing just fine. Right now. All right, sending out the Onyx. Can we go three for three? Even if it's paralyzed. And I like how it just, I like how it just landed on its like on the end of its tail. I expect the Onyx to, like lay down more than that. All right, there it goes. And did that thing just shrink a little bit? Cause it seemed like it wasn't that much bigger than the Pokeball when it got thrown. Anyway, you're a tricky one. Truly a mountain that I couldn't surmount. Um, thank you? Also, I apologize about the constant sniffling and stuff. Um, I've got what Dustin calls the permacold. So, alright, hold on, uh... Now, normally people would, um... Would save before, or I mean, would heal before going into the gym battle, but no, we're good. We are trapped, trapped, are challenging this dude straight up. I've been waiting in eager anticipation. What have I been waiting for? For a worthy challenger to appear. It's quite an achievement to have climbed all the way up here. Very impressive, actually. <laughs> well, thank you. Couldn't have done it uh, if it wasn't for a video game. If it wasn't in a video game. I have a feeling that our battle will turn out to be worth the wait. I hope you'll show me that your skill as a trainer has, uh, surpasses even mine. I'm sure I will. Oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh. Crack in the neck. Mr. Cool Guy over here. Grant. Mr. Rock type. Alright. Solid like a rock. Rocks don't move. Uh oh. Hey, that's the Pokemon uh, we have. I, I should throw it out just to up. Uh, no, I shouldn't because ours is under leveled. Okay. So, yeah, um. We get to see the Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. First of all, Takedown looks awesome in this game. Second off, we get to see, uh, we get to see that Pokemon, uh, action anyway. Even if I can, even, even if it's not, even, oh my gosh, even if it's not necessarily on our side. So let's use a takedown again twice in a row. It is determined to beat us. But nope. 
I'm just gonna heal one more time. You can't stop it. Come on, you're hitting yourself with recoil so much. Once, eventually, you're gonna have to not use it. Eventually, right? I mean, come on, look at that. So I think he's gonna take this turn to use a super potion or hyper potion. Never mind. Excuse me. I didn't know we got into that stage yet. You know, I'm gonna hit it with that magical leaf. And oh wow, okay, that. Okay, all right. Never mind. Mustard seed's going down. Sorry. Well, all right. Damaged by the recoil. Okay, I'm gonna actually throw out Nala. Nala hasn't gotten any action in this whole gym battle. Just whole gym battle. So, let's hit it with that Ember. And I mean, it just did normal damage. What the heck? How the heck did it learn Thunder Wave? That is an Ice Slash Rock type Pokemon. That should not have happened. You know, our R beam, that ain't gonna do nothing. Not very effective. Man, no, kill him off, man. Kill him off, man. Hit him off with the burn. He's down. He's down. Extinct. Like the dinosaurs. Like he is. Tyrant. I have no idea what that is, so I'm gonna throw out Shell Shock. Just to be on the safe side, I don't think, uh,. It's going to be part ice two times in a row. So Tyrant is... Oh, okay. T-Rex looking... Uh, T-Rex looking... Looking self. Hit it with that bubble. Okay, so... I thought this was going to be a rock type gym. But... Bubble did nothing or did just regular damage against it. So I have no idea what to expect anymore. It's still using rock type moves. Now my speed's fell on. Hopefully it all oh, okay, now it's faster. Now it's faster. Shell shock goes down. Oh crap. Okay, what am I gonna do? You know what? Yep, it's coming out this battle. It's coming out this battle. Well, let's hit it with that Aurora beam. Okay, crap. Hopefully it doesn't hopefully it doesn't kill it. And the frickin' thing frickin' flinched. Okay. See, all I wanted you to do was use uh, Ice Beam or Aurora Beam real fast just to see, just to test it. Because if it was a rock, truly a rock type Pokemon, it would have gotten taken out by that. But no. You see, you just can't, you just can't do it. Can you? Can you, Amara? Nope. And let's use Bite again. See, this isn't going anywhere. It's just going to use Bite another time. So I'm going to use Aurora Beam like it's going to try to. But no, it's going down. Sorry, man. I tried. You tried. I could tell. Okay, Bucky. It's basically up to you now. And actually, I'm going to start it off different. Hit it with that Leech Seat so we have the constant... Uh, damage being taken away from it so even if it does like just straight flex me right now okay no no let's do we're doing good we're doing good not losing that much help this turn yeah no no it's awesome it's over it's over hit it with that bite flinch could move that's too bad you still lose health anyway and I get some back not total, but still lose some total during the match or during the turn. Need alarm, get flexed, it faded, it's down and out. We win? Yeah, we did. You have proven to be a wall that I am unable to surmount. Didn't isn't that what the hiker dude said? Dude, you gotta uh, figure out some new phrases or something. There are some things that seem out of reach no matter how hard you try. However, it's important that you never give up, no matter the opponent or the odds. I could tell from our battle that you and your Pokemon understand that. To commemorate such an impressive show of teamwork, please accept the Cliff Badge. Well, Alright, thank you. That's nice. I like that. 
with the cliff badge in your grass, you should have no issues working together with your Pokemon up to level 40. Alright, this is play Athletic, yeah, Pokemon to get trays. And we get Rock Tomb. Very nice, very nice. Rock Tomb, curl rocks at target, flicker damage, lower the speed, yada yada yada. Alright, cool. Thanks for an amazing battle, dude. And thank you for catching it, or for tuning in to Pokemon Let's Play Pokemon Y Part Ten. And uh, I'll catch you. I'll catch you later. Peace out.